in this video I'm taking a look at 1080p camera glasses. Check out a couple of images that will give you a few details and then we'll talk a little bit about this and look at a quick demo. All right, so we're looking at these 1080p glasses. They have the camera here, your charge port here, your power and your function button, and your SD card is inserted in right there. If you don't have some, get tweezers. This SD card, when it's in there, extremely hard to get out, I think. Maybe if you have really good fingernails, it would work, but by any means, uh, I will advise you that when you go to read the content from this uh, SD card or whatever SD card you want to use, make sure and remove it and use a card reader because if you try to copy it from the glasses, it may or may not function. I was able to copy smaller files, but the larger files, the larger videos, uh, they would actually have uh, I.O. errors, but once the card was in a reader, I had no problem and that's trying different cables as well so it's not the cables and different USB ports so it's not the ports so it comes down to something when it interfaces with the glasses so uh, let me show you first the box and what it comes with and we can talk a little bit more about it so here's the box nothing too fancy there a little user manual a cleaning cloth sort of a semi hard shell glasses case with a little clip on the end and the zipper seems to move fine so probably last you quite a while with a little care you've got your micro USB charging cable or if you have one already you can use it and again it doesn't come with it but you should get tweezers so the SD card that's included is 32 gigs and as far as I'm aware that is the max supported uh, recording time with well, a full charge is in the 40 to 60 uh, minute range roughly as far as the specifications uh, charge time I'm not a hundred percent sure because I just kinda play with them they're a toy to me really more than anything uh, and I'll just charge them up at night wake up in the morning and have them ready to go for a little bit of uh, fooling around with them but your probably going to be looking at uh, three to five hours just to be on the safe side uh, three or four hours roughly five maybe if you want to be just extra sure uh, they have a flat almost rubbery type feel to them but you can see that the hole is fairly tiny and because they're matte they don't really it doesn't really show up um, you know if I put them on Obviously, the frames are a little thicker and all, but they have a very uh, standard look to them, and they don't look terrible. They don't look great, but they don't look terrible. They don't look uh, like these enormous, you know, camera glasses that are very, very obvious. They have some type of a coating on the lens that, you know, for sunlight uh, use, so like a sunglass type, but... I don't wear sunglasses because I have tinted lenses and I have prescription lenses because of eye issues. So um, I'd have to wear these if I really wanted to see what I was looking at close up uh, over top of my glasses. But by any means, they are comfortable, they are lightweight, and the function is a little weird because if you look on the Amazon listing, it'll say one thing, and if you look in the user manual, it'll say another. And I believe the user manual is actually more accurate. Uh, as far as the functionality so you short press the power button to turn on the actual camera and when you do that you have a blue LED right there so if I press the function button once it flashes that should be a photo and if I press and hold for about three seconds or so you see it begin to flash and that should indicate that it's in recording mode. It takes a little while of trial and error, fooling around with it to kind of figure it all out. Uh, I did look at some of the other reviews and see that some of the people were complaining about 
the fussiness of the controls. So that's certainly something that you'll need to account for on your own. Uh, other than that, I don't really think there's a whole lot else to talk about that I can say that isn't shown via the video. So I'll just throw up uh, some demonstration uh, video and a, a little screenshot uh, just of the front yard with the truck passing and uh, video with uh, my little dog and you know some, a vehicle passing so you'll hear a little bit of noise the wind chimes you might hear some birds chirping uh, slightly at one point in the video so overall the sound seems you know pretty good of course as you're moving around or if you're touching the glasses which I was uh, touching them at some points you'll you'll hear that because the microphone picks it up um, you know it's quite sensitive so you'll hear that rustling sound plus the wind uh, you may hit, hear a little bit of the wind and the video is okay it's not great but like for playing around and maybe just capturing some quick little you know moments here or there uh, I think it's it's okay it's, it'll work so I'll throw up some demo video and not really like do any editing to it just throw it up you know as is so you can kinda take a look and less the you know changes that YouTube makes to it uh, during the upload and compression and, and such it'll be the original file and you can judge for yourself which is probably the best way to make a decision uh, about the sound and the uh, uh, video capabilities and if you want to find out more about it you can check out the link below the video I appreciate you watching sit down Oh, you're so smart. Sit down. You gonna lay down? Lay down. That's a good boy. <laughs> you're such a good boy. Hey. Sit down. Good boy. Come on. Come here. Sit down. Good boy.